our light sensor and our light sensor holder. The light sensor goes inside all the way to the front and then we tighten down these two screws. Now that we have our light sensor in the assembly holding, we can snap it onto our track here and we can read where it's located by reading the little tab right here. We'll need to connect our sensor to the computer. We do that by connecting this portion either to a Lab Pro Quest 2 if you're using that, or in my case, I'm going to use a lab computer, so I'm going to want to convert that to a USB. So to do that, I use the Go Link. The Go Link has a connection with the tab, and we snap that here, and then we take the USB port, and we attach it to our computer. When you're in Logger Pro, when you plug this in, it will automatically start reading the data from the sensor into Logger Pro as soon as you plug this in. So you don't have to tell it about the sensor or anything else, it already knows. For a light source, we're going to use this thing here, which is our light source assembly. And we will attach it to our track, and likewise, there is a measurement tab in the middle right here, right there, that enables you to see what your value is. And so you'll be able to measure the distance between this tab and that tab as you're making measurements of your intensity versus distance. Now, the light source has to be plugged up. And there's an on-off button right here. So. Turning on the source, the light, the light will hit our sensor and we'll measure light intensity. And then we just simply move the sensor back, measure again, measure again, measure again, measure again. Simple lab. Here we're collecting data in Logger Pro. You can see that their flux for the light is slightly changing. We've got about 3,830 lux of illumination and we can collect data over time by pressing the collect button. I'll collect about five seconds or so and then I'll find an average by using the statistics button. So uh, just highlight some of that data, press the statistics button, and then I can read the mean off of here, and that's what I'll record for my particular position. So the moment you plug in or unplug the sensor, you begin to measure this. Now, you might want to be able to create some other data points, and you may find that that's not easy to do. I found that if you wanted to uh, create a new manual column, you just type, for instance, distance, and let's use the X and the units, let's call meters or centimeters, I guess in our case, and there we go. And I can now say that I want to measure this at 5, and I want to do it at 7, and I want to do it at 9, and I want to do it at 11, 13, and so forth. I also would like to create a new column, um, and it'll be a manual column, and I'll call it intensity, and I'll give it the name I and its units will be in lux and I will say done so 
I have a particular distance, I make a particular reading, such as my 3800 or whatever this thing happens to be. Uh, it looks like 3831. And I plug that number in, for instance, for whatever distance. I then increase the distance. As I back the distance up, you see the lux changes. I repeat the, the process again and collect more data. Get a new average. Record the average. So on and so forth. Now once I'm completely done, I'll want to make a plot of this distance versus data. That's the basic idea of the lab. Notice if I unplug the sensor, once I've unplugged the sensor, there's no more ability to collect data anymore because the sensor is unplugged. If you plug the sensor in, the collect data comes up again because it detects the sensor and you see the sensor values changing over here.